The Australian government has recently announced a $400 million financial support package for Hollywood, Bollywood, and international filmmakers to come and produce their films in Australia on backlots, such as Village Roadshow Studios. We've been inundated with productions, so inquiring how can we get here, what do we need to do. The announcement with the federal government for the $400 million has been a game changer for the international market. It makes Australia a lot more competitive, but the roll-on effects are for the domestic crew, local businesses around the Gold Coast and Queensland area. So it's a huge factor for us because it will generate a lot more films coming in, but also it will generate that growth that we need for the students, uh, local businesses as well. So it's a big game changer for us, definitely. It's Green Queensland and City of Gold Coast also have an incentive, uh, which is the only council in the whole of Australia that actually has it for the film industry. When they access funding, we have deliverables that productions have to meet, like attachments and internship schemes. So it shows that we're trying to increase the skills-based training to be able to grow that market on the skills level that we need. So I think all being well with this incentive that's been announced, also working with Screen Queensland and the City of Gold Coast offer an incentive to film production as well. I think we've got a positive outcome for the next few years, which is great. The New York Film Academy Australia has its very own production studio located at the world-renowned Village Roadshow Studios, making it the only film school in Australia with a campus on the back lot of a professional movie studio. I think the advantage of the students from New York Film Academy Australia working here, these students get to see things that you would never see outside. They might see some filming in the three water tanks we have. It might be they're just sitting at the coffee shop and they might see something walking past the sound stage that they've never witnessed before, or they might see a director that has been their idol that they get to see. The street behind me, funnily enough, Peter Pan, when it came here, I think probably about 19 years ago, they blocked this whole road off and built a whole London street. San Andreas built the side of a cliff on the back of stage seven. So I think it's critical they'll learn a lot from what they see around the site. The Gold Coast in Australia boasts a variety of world-class filming locations. They come here for the locations, which are very unique, that we have so many amazing locations very close to the studio. We have the rainforest and the beaches. We have the city with the Gold Coast and Brisbane. So it enables them to adapt to different environments. It is a big plus for the Gold Coast, definitely why people do come here. The Gold Coast has attracted many major films and studio blockbusters, such as Aquaman, Thor Ragnarok, Kong Skull Island, and Pirates of the Caribbean. The New York Film Academy Australia's hands-on approach to learning has students preparing for the industry from day one. Our students learn by doing, from working industry professionals with industry standard equipment, and facilities. The film industry is waiting for you on the Gold Coast. A great place to work, a great place to live, and the best place to study. I hope to see you on campus soon.